What's up YouTube? EXO coming at you here in the middle of doing so many things inside the big build here. We got Little Blue going to be cramming in with 218s and we're using all sorts of materials including different types of wood so I figured I'd make this quick little video explaining uh, why I chose to use birch wood for the main part of this wood. Even though I am still using MDFs for the small sections like you see right here, everything's still pretty crude and rough but she's going to come together real soon. But this video is going to be kind of a little experiment because some questions have been raised because of the fact that I'm using birch ply. I sprung the extra little money to do the 13 ply. As you can see right here, we have two pieces of identically cut uh, wood and we're going to do like a little EXO kind of experiment here. Nothing really fancy. I just wanted to demonstrate the, uh, you know, why I love using this wood so much. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the birch piece and we're going to stick it across this little gap here. We're going to bridge the gap and we're going to stand on it. I'm going to take my little scrawny ass. I don't weigh much, but I'm going to concentrate my weight uh, with my two feet here and we're going to see how uh, these two different pieces of wood uh, handle, handle the, the treatment. So the sun is faced that way, so we'll stand right here all in one take. We're not going to really edit this video, so I'm going to stand on this fucking thing, believe it or not. This scrawny uh, one and a half inch piece of of shit so let's stand on it oh god I'm falling so as you can see I gotta stand up here we go I'm standing and it's it's a little hard to balance but it's keeping its strength and it's not breaking one footed everything's good two feet in the center it's not breaking you see what I'm saying ah it's hard to balance but dear god so now I'll go one footed one footed in the center she's good she's good one footed in the center so it's not breaking I'll even do like a little added bounce here boom 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 not even really showing any signs of wear, you know what I mean? It's it's hardwood. Birch is hardwood. So now we'll take this bad bush, bridge the gap, make sure everything's still the same, and then we'll stand on it right here. Oh god. See, that didn't really last very long, did it? Damn. Even though I love MDF and the cuts are very clean for cabinets and shit, I mean, look at that, it's a perfect curve now. It didn't even splinter. It has good properties, but for right now, I wanted strength and lightweight. Even though the, the difference between the 13 ply and the MDF is not night and day, but the seven ply is, and we have some of that going on too, with the maple. So that, there you go, YouTube. It's just a quick little demonstration of why uh, I'm using the 13 ply birch as well as MDF but just in different areas and we got to reinforce the places that we are using MDF because it does have the tendency to you know not be as strong so just a quick little video here for the second channel make sure you guys follow on my main channel EXO Contralto we have been walling this bad bitch off to Contralto 18s on an Encore 4.5K, we just did the second skin on the roof, and we have got our Raggy alternator ready to be crammed in here with all sorts of, of all kinds of goodies, maybe from the Amp Lab too. Guys, stay tuned. There's so much shit coming. So, until the next video, why don't you click right here and check out some O? This is EXO signing out. Ha <laughs> ha!